Hey guys, it's Christina Creep and Sarah Stein, and today we are gonna do the Creepenstein horror favorites tag. <laughs> yeah, we made this one up because we felt there was too many generic ones. Yeah, there's too many that are very broad, so we decided to make 25 favorites. Mm -hmm. So not best, but favorites. Favorites. That's favorites. right. There is a difference. There is a difference. Mm -hmm. We are elitists. <laughs> no elitism here. <laughs> All right, so without further damn ado, mm -hmm. all right, um, number one, what's your favorite horror genre? I think mine is slashers. I can definitely, oh, I want to say slashers, but at the same time, I feel like I like paranormal, like ghost stuff. Yeah. I'm definitely into that. I love slashers, though. I don't know. That's that's really close. That's probably a, maybe a tie. Maybe. Maybe a tie. Yeah. <laughs> maybe a tie. <laughs> all right, number two, favorite decade for horror. That one is so tough. That one is so, so tough. I kind of want to say the 80s. I want to say the 80s, too. Um, the 90s, I feel like just because I grew up in it, I felt I feel a tie to those types of movies, especially the teen Scream ones. Oh, yeah. Like, I know what you did last summer in Urban Legends. Uh, <laughs> and Scream, of course. Um, and... <laughs> definitely a favorite. Oh, so silly. Um, but I find, yeah, I watch more 80s horror than I probably rewatch more 80s yeah, horror than anything. I agree with that completely. That in like late 70s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Late mm -hmm. 70s, 80s. I mean, that I feel like those really tie in. But yeah. Like, but then again, we both love slashers. So yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense for us. Um, All right. Favorite franchise? Well, I don't know. I don't want to be... I don't want to be... I think mine might be Friday the 13th, and I go back and forth with it. Um, it should be no surprise if someone that like has an alias as Crystal Lake likes Friday the 13th, but I mean, I will take it all. The good, the bad, the Jason X. I will, <laughs> I will take it all. Which had very good kills, by the way. I mean, I yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sleeping bag? The sleep... Shoot, the girl with her head frozen smashed against the counter? That alone. Way to go, gotta Kane. Go. <laughs> I gotta say, like, I would say... to. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but I don't really feel like that was a franchise. That really wasn't. Like, there was a couple of things that happened. Some good, some bad, some in between. It ha hey, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise does have a Wikipedia page. If there's a wiki page, it's probably a thing. Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> I would say that. I'm tempted to say that, but I think I'm actually going to have to go with Halloween. Well, that's good. Halloween. I was, you know, I don't want to be generic. I Despite wanna Resurrection. Say... Oh, my God. Well, I mean, Busta Rhymes. I know. Busta mm. Rhymes. He was no Ice Cube. He was no. He, is, he will never be an ice cube. <laughs> oh no! Um, I definitely Halloween, and I mean, of course, Nightmare on Elm Street. But ha Halloween, I think, reigns supreme because I'm really obsessed with Halloween-based movies. Like that's mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. go around the holiday. Go around the holiday. Go around the holiday. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Um, favorite remake. I feel like there's so many. I was super impressed with. Um, the Evil Dead remake. Yeah, that was good. That mm. was really, really good. It was so good. Um, mm. I might have to agree with you on that one. I do. I don't want to say it's a favorite. I'm not against remakes by any means. I know there's a lot of people that are like purists about it, and I think if it's done and done well, it's good. There's some like mm. I could not stand the Nightmare on Elm Street one, but that's because I feel like Freddy looked like a dum dum pop. I mean, <laughs> like a scarecrow so dum dum pop. So many people said that. It was. They went so much further into his backstory, and when I left, I looked at my husband, I was like, I feel like we just watched Attack of the Burnt Pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just, there was a lot of factors about why I didn't like that one, but it had nothing to do with the fact that they were, like, redoing it so much. Mm -hmm. But, um, I really did like the Night of the Demons remake. Oh, that was really good. That was really, really good, because, I mean, it, they hit so many points, so many, so many points, and that's one of my favorite horror And it's got chunky Edward Furlong. <laughs> I that make is make not no believable. Sense. I had such a crush on him after I saw Terminator 2. Mm. Not me. I've never and seen And then Brain Scan. Who are you? Okay, Brain Scan. Okay. He's in a John Waters movie. I am devoted. <gasps> That's Pecker, right? He's in Pecker. Pecker. He is Pecker. He is Pecker. What? Mm hmm. My brain. My and brain. his girlfriend is Christina Ricci. You can't get any better than that. I mean, this you is, might be able is... to, but. Well, we're... yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's, it's so close to perfection. All right. Favorite anthology style horror? Well, that's easy, I think. <laughs> um, 
I mean, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Um, trick or treat for me all the way. What was the oh, one that came out this past Halloween? Tales, Tales of, of Halloween. Halloween. That was really that really was good. so good. Have you seen the one called Whisper to a Scream? And it's um told by like Vincent Price, I guess. <gasps> and it's got all these weird stories. I remember having it on VHS, and I don't think it was no. called Whisper to a Scream when I had it. But I remember my mom made me watch it, and I was like, "This is so cool! I couldn't stop." Like, no, it was weird, man. It was oh, weird. Jesus Christ, I'm a cracker. One of my favorite ones is a Vincent Price one. What the, f- what's the name of it? Um, it's Comedy of Terror? Comedy of Terror. Yeah, 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 that's that's one of mine, too. But well, why am I second-guessing myself with Vincent Price? <laughs> I don't know. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> so much beer. Favorite Wes Craven film? Hmm. I have one, but it's like sentimental reasons. So my favorite is The People Under the Stairs. Yeah, that's a really um, good one. I remember seeing it when I was a little kid. And you know how when you're a kid, you might see something, but you're not at the age where you're like, I want to remember this for later. Mm-hmm. And it was one of those films where I was like, until I saw it like in high school, like popping up on TV on a movie channel, I was like, oh, that's the movie, that's the movie where they're in the freaking walls. And I remember when my sister was pregnant, we would watch it all the time. She would get her pregnancy midnight munchies and we would watch The People Under the Stairs. That was my brother's, like, favorite movie, which I've mentioned on here before. <laughs> my brother loved that movie. Um, hmm. I don't know. I Again, I don't want to be generic. I do not want to be generic, but Freddy's kind of, like, everything. Anytime I think of Wes Craven, I automatically think of Nightmare on Elm Street. And I know, hmm. like, the first, you know, the first. <laughs> the first. Hmm. Only. Um, but, yeah, I kind of might have to go with that one. I love people under the stairs, but. He's got good ones. He does. So many good ones. All right, number seven, favorite zombie film. There's so many. <laughs> First of all, Lucio Fulci's zombie, love. Um, the Dead Hate the Living. That's good. Love. Um, I'm going to keep going. You better interrupt me. I know. Um, Return of the Living Dead. It's per- such a good movie. Yes. This one. Well, Return of the Living Dead. Mm. All of them? All of them. All of them. All of them. And it's I'm, true. I love Julie so much. Julia, Julie. <laughs> so much that, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, mine might be Return of the Living Dead. Return of the Living Dead's really good. I don't know. I'm not, like, the super, like, hugest, like, zombie fan. But I will say this. I did get a new appreciation for Night of the Living Dead when I went and saw the riff tracks for it. Mm. Oh, even it's the good. riff tracks. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's no, so good. There's so many jokes I didn't even think of because of those crazy guys. Like, do you know, like, towards, like, mid midway towards the end where Barbara's, like, just laying on the couch, mm-hmm. and she's just kind of, like, petting, like, the end table, one of the guys is like, Doily, you're my best friend, because there's, like, a doily on the end of the freaking couch, so now every time I see it, I'm like, Doily, you're my best friend. Like, yeah, I don't no, know. Like, all of Romero's, for sure, like, and I actually really, really love Land of the Dead. Yeah. I love Land of the Dead. That was a really good one. I don't, there, there's so many. There's, there's so, so many. There's so many. And then you got like the comedy ones that keep coming out. Like Fido. Mm, Fido but, was so good. Fido. Fido was good. Oh, what was the one? Bury your ex, the burying the X? That, that was, that was, yeah, that was yeah, really yeah. good. That was really, really that good. That was good. There's another one I think it's called like As Zombies or something like that. I didn't see that. And it's weird. Oh, it's so good. So you have these people that turn into zombies, but it's from their perspectives. So they feel like they're just moving really slow and acting weird and they can understand one another and they don't understand why people don't understand them. Like it's really weird, but like James and I watched it and we thought it was hilarious. Mm, it was really good. I have to look into that one. So good. All right. Favorite scream queen. <laughs> um so many Catherine Isabel Daniel Harris, Jamie Lee Curtis, Curtis. of course. You gotta yeah. mention her. Oh, there's so many. Lena Quigley. Yeah. Oh, so good. I really love Heather Langenkamp. Yeah. Like she was. So, I don't know. I feel like when I go to a horror convention and I meet someone in person, and even though it's like you're in line longer than you are talking to them, just how sweet she is, and when you get to see people interact with other fans, like I don't know. And then I I bought her documentary I Am Nancy, and that made me love her even more. Oh, yep. I don't know. I, I can't. And I have a cat named Nancy after her. So, Freddie and Nancy. Freddie and Nancy. When I met her, she was like, there was no line. It was so crazy because it was that Scares <laughs> That Care weekend. Oh. Yeah, and there was like no line for her, and she gave us the free buttons, and she took her, mm. because there was no one there, she took so much time with us. It was so cute. She was really sweet. I had a friend that couldn't be there, and so I asked her, I was like, would you hold up a sign that says, yeah, hi, that. Adam? <laughs> and so she Adam. did, and I texted it to him when he was in Texas. <laughs> Oh, so wonderful. All right. Favorite female villain? 
I should have thought about this when I made them up. <laughs> One of them, I want to say, is May. Yeah, she is technically a villain, but yeah, you want to side with her. Yeah, and also um, Ginger Fitzgerald. Because, again, um, she is technically a villain. She wants, she she's is. up to some bad stuff. I love she her. totally is. And it's funny because when you think about it in the same respect, technically Baby Firefly is too. Yes. Oh, Baby Firefly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God. <laughs> it's so funny, when, especially when you watch The Devil Rejects, you're like, why am I cheering for the bad guy? I know. I know. <laughs> well, that's that movie absolutely was one of those movies where I was like, fuck, but I love them. Like, I that, know. That was no. a fucking movie. It's and so good. 31 is coming out. Yes, it September is. September 16. I'm excited. So excited. It's been too effing long. Why does it, it take has. forever for his movies to come out? I remember waiting for like four years for House of a Thousand Corpses to come he's out. Because music too. I know House of a Thousand Corpses. That's another that's, favorite. Wait, no, it's not a zombie movie. It, it's, I don't think it is. No. I was going to say it's a zombie, but no. No. No, because Dr. Satan, what is he? What is he, he doing? He's some kind of crazy critter. We don't. We, maybe he's a mutant of sorts. I don't know what he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's an X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was reading Scarlet and X-Men book to bed last night. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> All right, number ten, favorite witch, the Sanderson sisters. I know they're definitely for sure. a good. I know too. that's not like technically horror, I but it's... and I just because it was when we were like in like middle school. I love like all the girls from the craft, yes. especially Sarah and Angelica Houston oh, as the head witch. witch. Love oh. her, love her. She's terrifying. She was. She was actually the only one that scared me. The yeah. other one, yeah, obviously the craft didn't scare me. And, you know, I wanted stuff. purple eyes. I, I won't. Know. Those were so I cool. got purple contacts. I ordered some. <laughs> I ordered purple contacts. I've always wanted violet eyes. Oh, very cool. And I finally cool. got some. So cool. All right. 11. Favorite horror TV show? I really got into um, Bates Motel. I've been really digging I never, that. I never watched it. I think it. they picked a really good cast for that, and I've been enjoying it. I would say American Horror Story, but the only season I've ever finished when it aired was um the first season murder house well i do love american horror story um i'm trying to think there's so many um there's so many older ones that we like too the like yeah, tales from the crypt tales from the crypt absolutely. the friday the 13th series yes the friday the 13th <laughs> series is so good um what else what else what else um i mean they're not really like horror shows but i mean we did like the what? adams family and like and the, the monsters the monsters oh oh don't get oh. me started <laughs> don't get me started there was that one god why can't i think of it um it was the about the vampires, the masquerade, but it was no idea. It was like kind of off of the D and D game, but like it, it was a it was a TV show about vampires. It was really good. I'm like out of the DVD. loop with so many TV shows. It's, it's amazing. Old. It's I know really what Base Hotel is. It's it's a really old one. And Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. <laughs> Barnabas. <laughs> so many good. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, that's only appropriate. Number twelve. Favorite Dracula. Okay, oh, we were talking about this. We were talking about this. Bela Lugosi, I'm sorry, that is, that's Dracula. That is Dracula, yeah. 100%. He was the best. Although, we both loved us some Gary, Gary Oldman. Oldman. Gary Oldman in Bram Stoker's Dracula Everything about movie. that movie was stunning. I know. Why not a writer? Oh my, and Lucy. Oh, oh my God, Lucy. When she came out of the crypt in all white with the blood. And everything, I, gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. It was just, oh. It, it was, was, it was beautiful. It was so good. All right, 13. Favorite universal monster? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I always feel like I have to pair um, Frankenstein's monster and the bride together because I feel like they're a package deal. Yeah. Like I definitely like that and the whole play on like made for each other. Um, though I don't know after like meeting Julie Adams and seeing Creature from the Black Lagoon in three D, I was awesome. like, that was so good. That was so good. It was. It was meant to be seen in three D. It was. Like, it was meant to be seen in three D. That was such an awesome experience. It was very cool. But. Um, I have to answer. I know you do. Oh, I thought you were going to. No, I'm me. looking. Go, go, go. What I call you, ball of shit. <laughs> <laughs> My little ball of shit croissant. <laughs> croissant? Why are we adding that to this? This name's already weird enough. I know. That's a French ass name. It's <laughs> a French ass name. <laughs> okay, so. I love Frankenstein. Everyone knows that, like, because my old company was called My Darling Frankenstein. But my favorite's actually Dracula. It always has been. I love Dracula. The... <laughs> We're drinking fancy beer. They're not fancy at all. They're shocked up, but they're they're very good. They're interesting taste. She has strawberry. That's right. Strawberry. Strawberry. And I'm drinking a twisted pretzel. It's they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so moving on. 
All right. Favorite Christmas horror? Santa Slay. Oh, or Jack Frost. Oh, Jack, Frost. Jack Frost. Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, this is so silly, my favorite is the remake of Black Christmas. Like, I love that movie. I make my husband watch it every effing season. And then that movie, I don't know if you remember, but the hallway upstairs, they line the hallway with blinking Christmas lights. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so, actually, I never took my lights down. But if you go into my house, the basement is completely lined the perimeter with Christmas lights. I don't know. I like it. I like the yeah. like the cast that they, that's a gorgeous cast, by the way. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, I, I have to agree it with is. you on that one. But that's probably like that. And I mean, if Scrooge counts, I mean, it's got the ghost of Christmas past and present. There are ghosts in it, but like the one of Bill Murray, Scrooge. Mm-hmm. I feel like that should technically count. Mm-hmm. So that's another favorite. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Fifteen favorite ghost movie. You know what? I thought about this, and I don't know why this didn't occur to me sooner, and I don't know if it 100% counts, but The Exorcist. Oh. The Exorcist. It's a demon. Yeah, but I mean, it's a ghost. <laughs> I mean, it's possession by a ghost demon. <laughs> Wait, we you say about his couple... name. It's Captain Howdy. Captain Howdy. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, oh, yeah. I don't... This is going to sound so silly, and it's not a favorite by, like, any means, but I always loved when they did The Haunting, um... With Captain Zeta Jones. Oh, I love that. That house was so cool. And when the bed comes down and surrounds her and like yeah. the little the wood carvings yeah. everywhere, like it was that so was pretty. That was such a good move. Yeah, no, I definitely loved that movie. That was a fantastic. And then movie. Poltergeist was probably a favorite. Poltergeist. Not the remake. That's the only time I've left a theater after seeing a remake. And I go into things completely open minded because I know there's no way to a hundred percent please everybody. You're gonna find the people that want you to stick to the original story and want you to do better special effects or people that want you to kind of do a new version of it or make it your own. So you're never gonna please a hundred percent of the people. And when I left the theater, I did not know how to feel. It's not like they did a bad job or anything, but I felt like someone had just stepped on my teddy bear is the best <laughs> way I can think to describe it, where I was like, Yeah, it's just a teddy bear, but you stepped on it. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to feel about it. Mm. I was emotional. Mm, I'm confused. All right. Six. And Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. Oh, Beetlejuice Ghost with the most. <laughs> Why did I think? Oh. God damn it. We right like, in front of us. We like too much. I know. <laughs> I think we said it before. I use my Beetlejuice Living Dead dolls, the Lydia and um, Beetlejuice, <laughs> Groom Beetlejuice, as what we use to prop the camera. I'm never going to sell them, so it's not like I care if the boxes get wear and tear. It's okay. 16, favorite revenge film. Huh, I spit on your grave. Oh my god, yes. Every single one of them. Like, yes. I own them all on Blu-ray. Like, even, like, the remake and then the two sequels that followed. Own them all. I agree. I love it. I, I love the kills. Yeah. Like, I'm, that is a, yeah. I'm dark and brooding. <laughs> I have to agree. <laughs> Alright, 17. Favorite horror movie to quote? I think we quote Beetlejuice Yeah, quite a I'm going to say, I know this <laughs> might not technically be horror, but Beetlejuice is quoted so often. All the time. The time. Non-stop. All the time. Like, even the husband, the friends do it. Like, everyone. Yeah. It's it's impossible. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's in our bones. <laughs> Sorry. I'm waiting for my oh. camera to crap out. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Favorite horror soundtrack. I have so many. Uh, I have so many off the top of my head. Like... I lis- I've been listening to the Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, uh, in the car. You can see, I was in the car listening yeah. to it with you, and I do listen to that a lot. So... One of my favorites that I was obsessed with in high school was the Queen, Queen of the Dam Damn soundtrack. That was one of my it. favorites. <laughs> that one in the soundtrack for Strange Land with Dee <gasps> Snyder. Strange Land soundtrack was amazing. Yeah. That's that, how I. No, not how I found that Bile. Yeah. Bile. Bile. Yeah. Mm, in League. That well, was not. Awesome. Oh God. It's not. <laughs> oh, that was really good. There's so many good songs on that fucking soundtrack. And then on top of that, a recent one that we both liked the music too was It Follows. Yeah, It Follows was really. I had to get that back to you. Oh shit, you do still have my copy. (laughs) Okay, 19. Favorite underrated woman in horror? Angela Betis. That's mine. (laughs) You know, I don't don't know if I can even answer this. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't know if I I can answer this. I feel like there's so many, though, like, that we don't Um, even realize are underrated. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I I feel like Catherine Isabel is underrated because how many movies of hers are mainstream? That's really true. She's been, I mean, just a few. I mean, she was in the one Robin Williams movie. Yeah, but that I mean, like, creepy. oh, that weird one where he's creepy as hell. Yeah. Was it, was it, I don't remember what it's called. I forget, I forget the name every, every single time. time I go to talk about it, but it's, <sighs> it's with the them. pier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. And I always want to say it's 24-hour photo, but that's the wrong Robin Williams movie. Yeah. That one was creepy, too, though. Um, 
And another big, like, blockbuster one she did that was a horror movie was Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah. I was going to say, I think that, that was Poor booger. the big one. But, but she's yeah. never, like, her. too big of a role in any of these, and they're not, like, necessarily the hugest movies ever. I'll go with her. Because <laughs> she's good. Yeah. Okay. So, 20 is favorite woman in horror. Favorite woman in horror. That. I know. Like, I feel like lately, like, everything I want is Sasuke sisters. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we're going to agree with each other no matter what we say. It's um, true. I mean, oh, there's there's still so many that are creepy. Like, I mean, I guess Christina Ricci I still love, um, even though she doesn't have that I'm big of a presence in horror anymore. Yeah. Not that she really did, but I still consider her that. Yeah, and even Danielle Harris. Yeah, oh, like, that definitely girl. Her. I she know like, I listened to her already, but I she, love, she I love, 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 love her. her. I know, she does. Like, that's, that's just her. It's, it's her. Oh, it's it's so very good. cool. So good. Very cool. Anyone else? Uh, I can't. We'll move on. I think because we're going to keep naming the same people over it's and over true. again. So. All right, 21. Favorite man in horror. It's so hard not to say Rob Zombie, but I yeah. feel like there are so many male directors, too. It's really hard Rob not to. Rob Zombie and, you know, honestly, again, cliches aside, uh, Robert England, because, you know, he does so much. He, he does. does so much more than I think a lot of people realize that he does. Mm-hmm. Definitely him. Oh, Kane God. Hodder. Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder. There is a love and it is deep. If you're nice to He's my a mother. feisty minx. I know. I want my mom to hook up with him. Is that creepy? It might be. I don't know. I feel like that's age appropriate. Daddy Wait! <laughs> it could be. Every time, like, because we like, because we could go over and get in line with him every single time, there have been times where he stopped what he's doing and he's come over just and, to give my mother a hug. Yeah, yeah. And if you're nice to my mom, I'll probably love you forever. When I was signing calendars at one Monster Ranch, he smacked my ass. And I was like, what did you? Because I was bending over signing calendar. And then I was like, did, See, this did you? This is what I mean, though. My mom you? can take that. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah. mom can deal with that. <laughs> and then also, um, it might not be as prominent, but John Aston Because oh. with the Adams family, but also because he does so much with the Poe Society here in Maryland and Baltimore. He, he is does. in Baltimore. We both saw him at the Vincent Price um I stopped him from going in the ladies' room. Yeah. Last year, there was a big, at the Westminster burial burial grounds, um, we saw him reciting Poe live. And it was good. It was amazing. Maryland's not that crappy sometimes. It was really amazing. It was And then Victoria Price, Vincent Price's daughter, was there speaking about his life. It was just... It was phenomenal. (sighs) Such an event. That was such an event. (laughs) I I want to do it again. All right. All right. All right. 22. Favorite sci-fi horror... We definitely talked about this. We did talk about this because it was one of those things where you're like, is that technically sci-fi? Oh, is that sci-fi? I think we're going to have different ones, though. Yeah, I mean, Aliens, always and forever. Um, For sure. Night of the Creeps, which I didn't, you know, I didn't realize Night of the Creeps and, like, reanimator would count, but they do. They apparently count. And those, so those are mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The Thing is definitely a favorite. Um, uh, just because I know my husband loves it, I definitely love The Fly, both of them. Mm-hmm. And there was this movie, they, were, they made three Jeff of them. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, I swear to Christ. That, Gina Davis, come mm-hmm. on. Um, but there was um, three movies that came out, and the first one is definitely my favorite, but did you ever see Cube? These people all wake up and they're trapped in the cube. And there are different doorways that you can get through. And they figure out some weird math equation to get out with this kid. You know what? No, I was thinking of The Cell. I have not seen The Cube. The Cell is a the good cell. movie. Oh, really good movie. That is so underrated. It's yeah. not even funny. Maybe Jennifer Lopez is underrated for a woman in horror because she's really good. She did a phenomenal. She if did. she did more movies like that, I'd probably be a bit more like stalkerish with her. I know. That was such a good movie. <laughs> I saw that one in theaters. I think I did too. <laughs> All right, 23, favorite comedy horror. Dracula Dead and Loving It. Oh, that's a good one. There's so many. There's so many. Because in my head, I feel like Beetlejuice is hilarious. Beetlejuice. I feel like that's freaking funny, but I think, like, my ultimate is probably High Spirits. <gasps> we, yeah, we did talk. We talked about this. High <laughs> Spirits. Oh, my God. That one is so good. Oh, Peter so good. O'Toole, Steve Gutenberg, Daryl Hannah. Um, Jennifer Tilly. Jen- I was going to say Jennifer oh, Tilly is in there. Peter Gallagher. Oh. Up on the bed spinning. Spin- ah! So good, so good. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all haven't seen these movies that we're mentioning, we're mentioning them for a reason. Go watch them. Go watch them. Go They're watch so them. good. So good. Okay, 24 is favorite horror adaption of a novel. This one is super duper crazy easy for me. Interview with a Vampire. It was so good. It was just 
fucking phenomenal. Like, that movie, I must have, I wore that VHS out. And I even had the soundtrack to it. Actually, it's mm-hmm. another good horror soundtrack. It's all classical, but I really like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to play it for my pink rat. <laughs> Remember I had that pink rat? <laughs> I heard about it. I never was introduced. <laughs> high school, man. High school. Um, but yeah. There's so many good ones. Like, I want to say The Exorcist is one. I love that. Um, Jaws was so good. And then, like, a bunch of, like, the classic monster movies. Like, Frankenstein, yeah. Mary Shelley. And even Bram Stoker's anything, Dracula. Stephen King. Stephen King. Stephen King, God. anything. Man. Pennywise. Oh, my God. I, Stephen King. Stephen King. And now I love that his son, like, his stuff is getting made into films Ooh. like horns that's stephen king's son he goes by the know. so joe hill is his son's name but he didn't want to put king as his last name to oh like, yeah you know get his, his own, own street cred. Yeah, get his own credit but yeah it runs in the family man there's something in the blood all right and the last one number 25 favorite horror film son of a bitch i know you know though this one is pretty easy for me because it's oh well mm, <clears throat> no maybe not um I think I have one, and I always say I don't have one, but I might have one. <laughs> that sounds really stupid. Um, I think my favorite horror movie might be The Shining. And I know it's different from the book, and that's why I didn't put that as my favorite like adaptation from like a novel. Um, but what do you expect when you let Kubrick have control? Hmm. <laughs> but, I think, <laughs> but I think that might be probably like my favorite. Um, oh gosh, it's so hard because... Texas Chainsaw Massacre has always been my favorite, always, Exorcist too, actually, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre <laughs> has kind of, like, always been such a favorite for me, and getting to meet Gunnar Hansen, oh, rest in peace, I was in love because he was sitting there with purple chucks, oh, Aww. he was so sweet, um, him and Marilyn Burns, yeah, both passed away, I know, past like two years now i, I like know the before. horror community has taken a hit and so is rock and, and roll actually i yeah i know no kidding uh no sprat too but the remake in the 70s mm. not the i mean i love symphony of horrors and all that good stuff but the remake i loved which also leads me to another one that's a favorite uh-oh here we go okay no so text chase and massacre for sure remake of uh most fraught too and another good one i don't maybe it's comes maybe for us it's a comedy Shadow of the Vampire. <laughs> John Malkovich. I want some makeup. You can't have any. Uh. <laughs> I think we quoted that through high school. Yes. Way, 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 way too much. I have like, vi- not visions, but I have memories of us sitting on the steps outside of the cafeteria doing that. And you, like over and over and over. You know what I ended up doing? I'll have to like, let you borrow it maybe. I ended up getting it on DVD because I have the VHS still, but I found oh. it on DVD. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> all right that was it yeah so that concludes our horror challenge and we want to tag we want to tag we're gonna start two people here. yeah so we want to tag horror gal susan and we also want to tag Allie and austin mm-hmm. we want to know we want your answers <laughs> and don't worry we will have them below so that you don't have to go writing everything down that we wrote yeah. no problem um, and we will also leave links to their channels down below. Yes, they are super fun. We love their channels. We love them. We stalk them on Instagram. You will be our friends. Yeah. <laughs> We're forcing ourselves upon you. <laughs> that sounded a lot worse than you probably Where? meant it to be. <laughs> Wait, let me just do my creepy. <laughs> 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 We are this lame. Oh, man. (laughs) All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If there's other favorites you want to know, you know, leave us a little something in the comments. Yeah. Maybe we'll we'll answer. I don't know. Yeah, and we'll come up with some more fun tags. Absolutely. This was too much fun. Yeah. Why didn't I get... Is there... Can I get paid for making tags? Can (laughs) I? (laughs) We're fun. (laughs) We're tons of fun. (laughs) We'll ship all... (laughs) all right guys well until next time Bye. bye